Morning. I did this one some time ago and I'm going to have another go at it now. So, so what we've got, we've got some rocks in a fast flowing river. Uh, could be uh, Dartmoor, could be in, in Wales, except that it's not very mountainous. Uh, I like the blue trees of this one. I like the, the contrast between the blue, blues and the warmer colours. I've, I think I've used a lot of um, Payne's Grey in that one. Uh, but I, I quite like uh, drab colours. I like the contrast, the cool and the warm. And that should have been warmer here, but I might try and change that a bit. But the distance, this just seemed to work this one. I, I'm very, very pleased with it. I don't know what I've done with it. Right, okay, let's uh, get ready for watercolour painting. And I've had my fill of abstracts for a short while, so we're doing watercolours now. I might do the odd acrylic if I find something that I want to paint in acrylic. Uh, I'm going to uh, do a rough sketch of, of it, so we have a bit of, bit of landscape and a bit of, bit of a rock coming down. There and another one in the water here. This is a bit of bucking food. It's it's on the back of a of one I did some time ago. We've got lots of rocky shores, shore on it. Go mad with the rocks, and then we're we're putting some trees above that. Um, we can put. So that that's just to position the rocks and a rough. Uh, Nothing else. Blocking for paper. I've just trimmed it down to six. It's about fifteen by eleven inches. Uh, the paints are cadmium yellow, which I'm staying with. Uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, and burnt sienna. That's my palette. It doesn't have to be yours, but if you're a beginner starting out, I would recommend that you 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 start off with a palette like this, and only when you know the colour mixes after some months or even years then you can start throwing other colours at your paintings but the more colours you have the more complicated it gets and there's no one paint, one colour really that would do everything any more than the, there's a brush when you're experienced you can paint a picture with any sort of brush but, but don't think that by buying best equipment all the latest palettes and all the expensive brushes is going to make you an artist. It won't. What makes you an artist is you don't quit when you can't do it and you carry on and carry on and carry on until you can do it. We make it look simple but it's taken years to do simple so don't be discouraged. Just be prepared to fail and fail and fail. Pick yourselves up, dust yourselves down and just get on to the next, the next one. Normally I use Fabriano. It, it comes in convenient blocks of 50 or 100 sheets it's very inexpensive for watercolour paper. It's lighter than Bockingford, but it's ideal for, for what we use it for, and you don't begrudge wasting it. But don't panic and think you can't do it. I couldn't do it. Stephen Cronin couldn't do it. Alan Owen couldn't do it. All the other watercolour or uh, painters couldn't do it either. They had to learn to do it, and so, so must, must we. So be encouraged. Okay, so I'm going to do a wet in wet. No, I've painted on blocking for, for a while, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But the idea of this is to unify the colours, lubricate them, and the colours merge and blend at this stage. But if you do it at the wrong time, when the shine's going off the paper, it will go to. See, it's very quite old. I might, I might have, have to change the paper on this one. It's uh, got a bit. Well, it's quite old now. It's, it's been exposed to to my studio for a long time now. So, bit of bit of sienna. Uh, 
Oh, not a lot. Just a bit of a blush. That that blushiness will dry out, I'm sure. So paint the direction of the stream. And on top of that, we'll put in a bit of bit of streak of blue. And now the light red and a bit of ultramarine. The colours dry much lighter than when you put them on. So oh here we go, nice and nice and heavy. And then just put that in there. Okay, that's that's the basics. I've got the board at about 45 degrees. It's just a bit too steep really, but it's a compromise between you being able to see it, me being able to paint at that angle. I prefer 30 degrees or less. That way you get the paper, the, the uh, paint spreading more evenly, but you do get some lovely effects. You get some nice rainy effects. So we'll let that dry. I'll give it a bit of a dry. I think we could have a bit of a problem here. It's going to dry quite uh, well. We'll see. Headphones off. That'll do. Right, then we'll put in the, the, the ultramarine background. A bit of a lizard and crimson in there, I think. A lizard and crimson lights, uh, lasts a long time. Don't use a lot of it. Well, we could make the mountain seals. Why not? A bit behind the trees we're going to put in. Paint down to the horizon there I think. Behind the main trees. Okay, well, while that's uh, dry we're putting in a few rocks. So, so a lot of colourful rocks here. And then we can use the scraper. They're a scraper, this one, that will do. They're everywhere my bits of plastic. Save your plastic cards cut them up and, and, and use them again. So let's use some burnt sienna and a bit of light red and a bit of blue. So we'll uh, See what's happened to that, look. but quite interesting. Right, excuse me, I'll back. I'm just going to find a wider piece of card. I've got loads of all my old RAC cards. Let's cut one up. Nice bit of nice bit of plastic. Just cut it the size you want. Okay, so we can use either of those pieces. You can use the corners. So let's just. Okay, that that'll do. We can. I'm quite happy with that. Right, uh, I'm going to give that a try. I want to try that out if I can, because it's looking a bit horrible. Right, headphones. Hmm. 
Right, okay, no problem. Let's let's uh, put in some some weak burnt burnt umber. Bit of blue. Put in some extra colours. Got some dark blues in here. Getting warmer. Got a bit of red in there, eh? Just right now, we're putting some uh, some darker rocks here. Oh, can see. Right, let's get these uh, trees in. Okay, we'll, we'll put in some extra foliage on the top here now. This paper is smoother than the uh, than the um, Fabriano. Right now we want some some darks in there. Right, and we're going to put some uh, some rigor work over over this here. So bit of blue, bit of amber. Just give an impression of there being a lot going on with just a few hits with a brush. Just an impression. I like painting fast, I'm not a, a slow toiler, even if I wasn't filming I'd do, do it quick, 
I don't like to go back to a painting. I like to start and finish. Not the same with acrylic, you can stop there any time. But when I'm demonstrating, you don't want to watch hours in loads of parts. Sometimes it's inevitable, but the phone rings you have to answer. So then you do part one and two. Okay, so that that's okay. Right, now I'm going to put in a bit of bit of warm in this corner. So a bit of sienna, a bit of blue, a bit of red. We need oops, too warm, too wet. Make some of that bit green. If you don't, it would just look all the same intensity, you know, I'm sort of overdoing that, but... Okay, so I'll give that a bit of a dry, then I'll go over the water and then we'll see what we've done. Headphones off. Trying so it doesn't reach the when I put the blue sky on, there's a reflection in the water. It, it won't uh, it won't bleed into the rocks. Okay, we've got a bit darker with the shadows, I mean reflections. Okay. It hasn't stretched very much, and I forgot to drink my tea. Right now, I'm, um, I'm going to dry that. I'm going to put some some stuff in the bottom here. So let's uh, put in it's a lovely rich green over that warm bit of Payne's grey, bit of umber, bit of rosiana and a lump of cad yellow. Very nice, nice dark green.
Okay, I'll give that a signature. I'll put, we've got birds in. And then we'll put a mount in it, around it. Okay, that'll do. That's still drying, it's like blotting paper at the moment. Okay. Right, there's, there's only way we want to put a figure in there somewhere. Don't know where. Um, we could put a figure over here. I'd have to lift out the paint <laughs> rather than uh, put it in. Let's uh, have a show. Nah, that's not going to work there. Come out there. Yeah. Uh, I haven't left any room for a figure that will be in scale. I could put one on there, I suppose. Just hanging on that rock. Well, let's have a go. Let's see. I uh, get one of my little pins here and well, I just block that a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, well he's holding his fishing rod and Put a little bag there. Okay, well that'll do. Uh, it's not, not the greatest, but... But it's okay. Not too bad. Hope you like that. Uh, not much I can say about it. I've, oops, I've used... Very cool colours here, I don't think it's as good as the original one. Uh, pretty about this, but that will dry out. Uh, my The whole thing, it being a different paper, that's a bit rough there. But there are bits of it that are quite okay, the water's not too bad. It's just a little bit too small really. I don't know how he got there, he jumped from there onto there. He certainly didn't come by boat. Right, well thanks for watching, see, see you later, bye bye.